Well, hey everybody, Iron Man 3406 back here on the YouTube channel. If this is your first time tuning to the channel, my name's Nathan. Thanks for stopping by. I'm going to give you guys another uh, tutorial video here today on the next generation cat articulated trucks. Got a 740GC here. Find the sun, it's just setting a little bit. But uh, 740GC, and I want to show you guys all about the assisted hoist feature that uh, is in the next generation cat articulated trucks. So I'm going to get up in the cab. I'm going to put the camera on uh, pause here for a second while I climb up safely and everything like that. And uh, yeah, we'll go through this assisted hoist system with everybody. It's pretty cool. It should make life a lot easier for truck drivers. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. All right, everybody, I am sat in the cab of this 740GC and the switch and the feature I want to talk to you about is this guy right here. So you see on the little uh, inst in in image there, picture of the dump box, arrows going up and down, the word auto below it. This is the assisted hoist system switch, or AHS as Caterpillar calls it. This feature um, defaults to off every time the key switch is turned off. So if you want to use this feature, you got to remember to turn it on at the start of your start of your shift. You'll see the little green light illuminates on the bottom of the switch telling you that it's active. Turn it off, same deal, green light goes out. Okay, so in these next generation cat trucks, the transmission control and the voice control are all built into the same same control handle here so it's nice you're not having to go from control to control to run your transmission or your gear selector and your hoist at the same time it's all nicely built into one handle with the uh, um, cruise control and and uh, transmission lock buttons and everything right on the on the controller but that's not what we're here to talk about we're here to talk about this assisted hoist system or the a h a h s acronyms <laughs> Um, so when we've got our automatic or our assisted voice system uh, enabled, green lights on, all we gotta do is pull this voice control lever past the detent, let go. The um, service brakes are gonna apply, the transmission's gonna be neutralized if you're in reverse or drive, and the RPMs are gonna go to high idle, box is gonna raise. When the box gets close to the end of its hoist cycle, the RPMs are gonna drop a little bit so that uh, it saves a little bit of the uh, stress on those cylinders instead of being at max force going all the way up. It'll do the same thing on the way down. So let's give you a little demonstration here. So for the demonstration, I am gonna put transmission in drive. We're in drive now. I've got my foot on the service brake. I'm going to go ahead and give this a click. So, I'm going to let my foot off the brake. You can see we got the transmission brakes being held. RPMs went up, dropped off. Box is all the way in the air. And I'm still running my foot off the brake pedal because the brakes are applied with that AHS system when it's turned on. Now, same thing, I want to lower it. I've still got my foot off the brake because the brakes are being held and the transmission's being held or the brakes are applied, the transmission's held. I'm still in drive. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna lower my box. Same thing, I'm gonna go to the click and let go. See our box starts to lower. RPMs are up. They drop off a little bit. And box is down. Now, even though the box is down, I'm still in drive. I still don't have my foot on that brake control because we're still being held until I actually apply the service brakes, put it into a different gear, and then all of that turns off and I'm good to go back to get loaded and start the cycle all over again.
Now, I don't know if you could hear it or not, but when that box gets almost all the way to the end, the RPMs do drop a little bit so that it's not so hard on those cylinders. It's going to do the same thing on the way down. So I'm sure you heard the RPMs drop when that box got close to the bottom just to uh, save all the harsh impacts on those cylinders coming down at high idle. Another cool feature Cat has added into these trucks is this machine stability screen. Now this screen is automatically going to pop up when you raise the bed, um, but it gives you a, a sensor reading on the tractor versus the dump body. So you know when you're in the green, you're safe to, to hoist if you get outside of that obviously not safe to uh, to hoist the body so just a nice little indicator um, for you when you're when you're raising that dump body as I say it automatically pops up when you raise the bed or if you want to see it at any time while you're traveling throughout the job site you can give that button a click and it brings up that stability screen so all tied into that dump system nice visual handy to have information to keep you safe while you're hoisting the box So I hope you guys enjoyed that quick little tutorial on how to use that assisted hoist system on the new next generation cat articulated trucks. If you find these kinds of videos useful, I would appreciate a uh, thumbs up, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of caterpillar content. I'm going to keep doing it as much as I can when time permits. For you guys that are interested in the antique stuff, I apologize. I uh, Work's been nuts for me. and. I just haven't had time to work on anything, so um, hopefully things slow down a little bit. I can get back on some of that, but got to keep paying the bills, and work is what pays the bills. So I am going to sign off. We'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, I am Iron Man. See you next time.